Welcome to Ancestry Genetics. We will help you discover where you come from, where'd you go, where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe. All we ask is that you take this little box and put your finger in for just a skosh of your blood. And now we control the horizontal and the vertical. All your DNA are belong to us. Amelia's Children was written and directed by Gabriel Abrantes in his feature credit. And he's done shorts as well. Check out his IMDb page for the full listen of his work. And this stars Bridget Laundry Payne as Riley, not Ace of Spies, who I do have to say is very, very lovely. And she is a girlfriend of Ed. Ed, a man that is just trying to figure out where he came from because he was adopted and he doesn't know anything about his family. So he decides to go to Ancestry Genetics, which is an app, apparently. It's like Ancestry.com, except... You have to put blood in there, and then they figure out where you came from, and he figures out that, oh my god, his long-lost mother and his twin brother are in Portugal. So he immediately jettisons off, along with Riley, and by the way, Ed and Manuel are played by the same people. Yeah. Uh, Carlito, uh, Cata, Carlito, Carlito, Carlito. It's like, you want to be cool? You do what you want, you take what you want. If you are a wrestling fan, you will get that. If you are not, you are going to be mind-numbingly confused. Difference between this particular <coughs> um, Carlito and the wrestling one is this Carlito's dad wasn't involved in the stabbing and the murder of a professional wrestler. If you know, you know. Call an ambulance! I am terrible. I am terrible. People that know anything about wrestling hate me right now. And they discover that in this... Far off villa, a beautiful place, I do have to say, where the opening scene takes place. And then we cut back to, you know, wherever, any town, USA, and then we go back to Portugal. So we only have to shoot in one particular location, saving costs, good idea there. Yeah, Ed is happy to discover that he has a twin brother, even though things are obviously very weird right off the bat. <coughs> and also the mother is very, very often Riley. Senses something's wrong, but not before it's really too late to do anything like fucking leave this obviously fucked up situation. And then things just get weirder and weirder and more basic and more basic. And look, I don't mind if I can call a horror movie within the first 20 to 30 minutes, but when I call it and it somehow gets even more generic and worse than what I called, that's saying something. There's a good idea here. The acting is all right. There's you know, potential as far as filmmaking goes, but it's also very lazy and also throws a lot of shit in at the end and involves one of my least favorite tropes in horror movies, and I will get to that in the spoilers. Let's just say it reminds me, or reminded me of something I saw in What Josiah Saw, which is another movie I fucking hated. I hated that one a lot more than this because at least this one started out all right and then descended into... Mm, I look forward to what else a director or writer can do, but this, as far as, well, a, you know, a feature-length credit, eh, yeah, this kind of missed the mark, and then totally missed the mark, and then just kind of veered off and, you know, went down a goddamn, you know, clip into a ravine, and then got picked up like Homer in that Simpsons episode, and then got thrown back down, and yeah, there were no scares, um, a, a few decent shots, like, I mean, a beautiful location, a couple decent little like creepy moments but they are immediately undercut by a lot of laziness the jump scare noises are complete trash and the explanation for the whole thing is pretty much what i called and also monumentally stupid i'm sorry very monumentally stupid and it shows the stupidity of riley ace of spies and ed and also the complete one note nature of every single character in this and considering there aren't that many characters to focus on uh, that's that's kind of bad. When you can't even make the few characters you have interesting, yeah, you're kind of missing the mark here. I did pay about eight bucks for this on Amazon to rent it, by the way. I don't pirate movies, so that's why I feel a bit amount of fair criticism is in order. <clears throat> if I like something, great. If I don't, then why not tell people? Now, you could check this out for yourself. Maybe you'll feel differently. There was potential, it just didn't ultimately work. I'm going to get into spoilers. Three, two, one, and spoilers. Inbreeding. It involves inbreeding. Hooray! See, I hated him what Josiah saw. <laughs> I hated him in a bunch of other horror movies that have had it, and yeah, that might have worked in this one if there were any characters worth rooting for, and there weren't, even though Bridget Lundry 
or Lundy paint is beautiful, incredibly beautiful. She's not given all that much to do here. <clears throat> so, in the uh, beginning, there was rap, as our Lord and Savior Dr. Dre once said. <clears throat> and there's a cool shot of a villa. A baby gets stolen. Don't steal the baby. And young Amelia is very, very upset. <clears throat> and it turns out they're twin brothers. And Ed finds out that um, Manuel is his uh, twin brother. Apparently, you can call people through this app, and the long-distance charges are just absorbed, I guess. And boom, they're on the plane. He's got uh, Riley with them. They stop at a roadside vendor to ask about the house. And these people, these locals, basically say the house is evil. Get out of here. Leave, leave, leave. Not warning them to basically get back to where you came from. Good thing we don't say that here. And then that's that that they get to the house and pretty much it just ends up <clears throat> dissolving into bullshit. Manuel uh, ends up watching Ed while he sleeps. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> the mother has uh, basically it looks like a human death mask, and that's because of the prosthetics. Not great, Bob. Not great. I understand what they were doing, but hoo hoo boy. She had a lot of work done. Makes this movie need a little bit more work. There are two love birds, symbolic. <clears throat> yeah, the birds, I think, were actually the most fleshed out characters in the movie, and they were in like all of three scenes. And Amelia <clears throat> is, um, Amelia mentions how America basically just involves a bunch of Puritans with a love of guns. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Um, I, I basically know that this is going to end up with the mother wanting to possess the girl, isn't it? <laughs> Lo and behold, I was right. Kind of. Kind of? Kind of was. And she uses Google Voice Translate, Riley that is, to basically translate the stuff and finds out that, oh my god, Manuel and his mother are sleeping together. It kind of turns out that it's not really Manuel. It's the father, maybe the father's spirit, in there, kind of. It reminds me of the skeleton key, because they kind of make it where it's like they're trying to suck off the youth of their family members. It's really, really messy. Just stay in Portugal for the next month, and you'll inherit all this money, you and Manuel. Gee, that's not weird at all, that suddenly he can't read this stuff, and <clears throat> he can't read, you know, these papers that he's signing. But yeah, don't worry, it's fine. We're not... Having you sign over your soul, why would you wonder about that? And Emmanuel is whittling while yelling opera. Scenes were just happening at this point. Bad cell reception. Oh my god, in a horror movie. And then, basically it revolves around the Portuguese witch Goya. And that's pretty much it right there. We find out a little bit more information from the neighbor. The neighbor lady whose daughter went uh, missing. She um, she basically had her youth sucked off, I guess. A lot of this stuff is left up to the imagination, so I'm just throwing shit out there as possibilities. We then, uh, Riley basically gets blown off by, um, by um, Ed, and Ed is like all in on this stuff, and, <laughs> and then their car is parked in, there's pics of the dad, and all this bullshit going on so they go to leave and then we get to this conclusion where the body of the neighbor i assume is in the garage the garage scene was so badly lit i couldn't even tell what was going on they're in the bowels of the of the house and it turns out the genetic anomaly just before this um well a genetic anomaly from that genetic company basically said hey there's a history of inbreeding in this family Oh, and then the mother drugs the uh, drugs Ed and fucks him. No, really, that's actually what happened. That's really not something I needed to see. I mean, I was already checked out of this movie before that, but that's pretty fucking stupid. <clears throat> and if you're into inbreeding, you're a fucking moron. God, this is shit. This will not end is what I noted. Not even in the top ten of worst movies I've seen this year. The dad is found in the basement. Crawling around some, even though he was tortured, <clears throat> apparently, according to his neighbor, he's still alive. And then, <clears throat> Manuel gets sent over the goddamn, you know, balcony. That's what she, that's what he gets for railing against her. <clears throat> the mother is upset and 
stabs Riley in the shoulder. You can fight off Manuel that's about twice your size, but you can't fight off this older lady. Whatever. Okay, logic. Um, Ed is drugged and trying to drag himself there, and then the dad suddenly shows up and chokes the mother out, is getting stabbed, and they're all bleeding to death. And then Riley gets said, and they escape. <laughs> and then we see a scene with, I assume, the dad and uh, young Amelia dancing. I don't know. Oh, he's a mess. Amelia's children, yeah. I think probably we should have gone with some wire hangers here to avoid this one. Nevertheless, it gets an F. I'm sorry, it's not good. Maybe I'll check out what else the director does in the future. It, it can only go up from here. Agree, disagree, what I said, like, share, subscribe, Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rettlin. I'll see you soon.